Hi everyone, Drum Tech Kenny Sherrods here with my ongoing series on how to set up and tune drums using this little Ludwig Questlove Breakbeats kit. Now today we're at part two of how to set up snare drums. We're doing the bottom hand. I'm going to answer a lot of the questions I got from some people on Reddit and some people in the comments on my YouTube channel. And so I'm going to take this from the ground up. Now we've already been pre lubed and preset for all this. I just want to make sure I took it from the ground up and did as much advanced work as I could. Now when I'm taking off snares, I come from the butt end. I stay away from the strainer because basically once the strainer's set, once you learn how to get the snares centered and, and in the middle, it's easier to work with this side than it is the other. Now to remove the hoop, I just kind of slide this bad boy right out like this and pop her through. There we go. Nice and smooth. <laughs> All right, now I'm careful not to bend up this wire, uh, any wires or any of your snare straps because you want these snares to be centered. You want them to be level. You want them to be balanced and even so they respond properly in the head. They're not bent just one side or the other or all janked out or the wires aren't holding properly and keeping it on level. That causes unnecessary snare beds and you don't want that. All right, now, if you haven't changed your bottom head in a while, you want to do something that I recommend highly. This is a brand new drum. I'm going to go at it. Go at these lugs. Just double check it. Make sure everything's got a good little turn. You don't want to over tighten. One of these little small palm screwdrivers, just a small end of the screwdriver, is really great because you can just give it a nice little torque and make sure nothing's loose. Everything's groovy. Anyways, we got a good solid bead on all these screws. So now I'm going to take this Evans 300, these are a little 11th 300 bottom snare head, and uh, put her in the middle. Now one of the most important things about putting on a bottom snare head is it's a lot like putting on a, um, a bass drum head. You want to get it centered and sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain but especially with uh, you know more vintage style hoops like these triple flange hoops they tend to have a little bit of give on them. So you want to be careful about bringing the snare back in. And you want to get this hoop centered. Now here you can still flip this back just a little bit to get it out of your way, but the main thing you want to do is make sure this hoop's nice and centered. You get your screws in, and much like I do on all my other videos, I get them centered, but I'm going to attack a pair so I can kind of lock this hoop down, and I'm going to attack the opposing pair and use a radial pattern that you see in most drum head boxes or old modern drum articles and how to team drums. Now, the reason you want to be so careful with this bottom head is it's pretty thin, and you don't want to mar it, you don't want to bend it, you don't want to twist it, you want to get a lot of life out of it. And one of the reasons you want to change your bottom head is just that reason, life. I mean, if your snare drum's sounding dead, or the snares just start responding, you're just not getting that crisp feel to it, you might want to change your bottom head, especially if you're going in the studio. It's amazing how much a little bit of a change in the bottom head can make. Just, just, just that, changing the bottom snare head can make in the snare sound. Man, these are some long lugs. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and go around the drum in this eight lug pattern. A little plus X, or the where from where I'm sitting. Yeah, plus X, a little plus, and then an X. Now, this is where having a good mallet around like this T2 cartwheel comes in handy because you can really kind of lightly tap it. Now here's a place where I will take one drum key and kind of fine tune a little bit because man, just like Tiffany, you can hear it sing. And you want a good level start because you have to deal with the snare beds. There's a little bit of giving that bang edge. A lot of drums will have that little dip in there and it can make you feel like you're out of balance when you really aren't out of balance. And sometimes you have to compensate for it. And using stereo tuning, I just use a nice, in this case, X plus pattern. I went this way, then this way, then this way, then this way, with the two keys to just get a good bead on the bottom head. Let's check it again with mount. Get that initial tone, chase it down with the soft side, and also. Now you do want to stretch these heads a little bit, and the best part about changing the bottom snare head is you can tweak her up, the snares out the way, let her stretch, let her get a good bead of, of 
stretchiness on. Nice little gentle push all around the bang heads. Seat it nicely, maybe a gentle push right in the center, but nothing too much. This is a bottom head. All right, everyone, and now for the continuation of part two of setting up a Questlove snare drum, the bottom head. I started the first part before I went out on tour. You'll notice a different haircut. Now I'm here for part two uh, with some great tips. Uh, like Lizzie said, hey, Dad, why don't you put some good snares on this drum, make it a little bit richer. So I've decided to go ahead and put a set of Pure Sound Custom Pros on here. And uh, the good thing about that is an easy set to install as a ruler line. Uh, and even though I've done this in another video, I'm going to show you again. I start with the strainer side pretty loose in the up position and locked and loaded at a matched position here. This is already tightened down, but I'll double check it just in case, get a nice level setup. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this side. And when I do this side, I'm going to go ahead and pull it and make sure that it's nice and centered on the drum and that the snares aren't pulling this way or this way. You don't have that angle going in either which direction. It just goes nice and evenly. You want to pull firmly, but not too hard because you get a lot of room to work with here to tighten it up. Now you want to double check your lines over here. Make sure this bad boy is centered. Now that's beautiful. The ruler line makes it easy. And what this does is not only guarantees that you have a centered set of snares and a set of snares that are almost ready to go, but it also pretty much pre-levels them for you. And we're going to talk about leveling in just a moment. All right. And here we go, a nice evenly set, centered set of snares from Pure Sound, ready to rock and roll on the strum. Let's flip it over and check out our leveling. Now before we play the snare drum, let's double check our work in setting the snares. By doing that, I want to double check and see if they're level to the snare bed. Now what you want to do then is take your snare strainer, drop it down, go ahead and look straight down and make sure that everything looks level. And by golly, by setting it to the lines and doing even pulls like we did, we got a nice levelness. Now, if you ever really have to adjust, if it's just a little bit off and you wanna make it just a little bit sweeter, what you might wanna do is come on over here. Because again, different angles can reveal different things. Loosen that up a little bit and just kinda of tweak it. Stand right down the snare bed. Make sure she's perfect. Lock and load her in a level way like I explained before to where this sits nice and evenly and tightens evenly. And let's see what we got. This should make the snare pop at a low fat tuning with lots of snare sensitivity. Oh uh, yeah. Lots of tone. Very little synthetic buzz. Let's check it with this drum. Oh uh, yeah, this snare is ready to go. Ready to crack, be sensitive, you can play exquisite patterns on it. It's not going to choke down on you for a thin snare drum at this price. You can't beat it. Uh, so stick around and check out the putting it all together video where I'll show you how I put everything together to get it ready to play in clubs and uh, stick around.